Alrighty, so we're going to actually be running the limited summer Mary combo with Ludmilla. Thank God Ludmilla is actually a good unit. Let me feed in her dupe. She's actually a good unit and she's a good water unit. And the one thing that Mary was kind of lacking was water allies to support because she does have a mechanic on her second skill where every time you enter a, a burst skill, water code allies will have strong um, element increase, right? And it stacks all the time. So I want to pair that up, obviously, with Ludmilla's nasty, nasty, you know, kit. And then also take it against Chatterbox, who is of the fire code, which is, you know, weak to water. So there's not much time, actually, because reset is about to happen. So I wanted to get this video done as soon as possible. It might be a shorter one, but that's okay. Make sure you guys subscribe and like. Um, but let's take a look at this, right? So I do think this is going to be a crazy-ass combo. Let me lower the music for you guys a bit here right but when we use the burst skill we are going to have a lot of buffs we're gonna have the buff from you know let me show you guys all the buffs we have active right now so right now we have the strong element buff which is coming from i guess this is just coming from our code right this is not actually coming from um summer and east or summer mary my bad summer mary this is coming from our code but this right here is coming from uh mary so that's very good right wait does it only last three seconds yikes i mean it does it's fine um but yeah you guys can see the numbers are actually going to always be insane here um we don't need to worry about the damage we're actually taking because um what's it called it's already over like the, i think the boss is gonna be dead by the second this rotation right the burst rotation is actually so good that we're literally um what's it called and i do love the fact that this um what's her name I do love the fact that this Ludmilla has like 20 seconds of the reload speed, right? Because that also comes into play there, right? As much as we don't want it to, it does definitely come into play as well. Um, but yeah, it's, what's the damage looking like already? Okay, so Modernia is actually hitting harder right now, um, which is understandable, right? My Modernia is uh, insanely built. But now I think by the end of this, Ludmilla is going to take over the uh, charts. Right, let's see who's that going for. Okay, yeah, um, so it's fine right uh there's nothing for him to like attack us with um but yeah the numbers are very very crazy actually right her damage is very very good the only thing about chatterbox is that chatterbox has limited hp right so it's a bit unfortunate there that we can't really see like full mass potentials but we can actually test this again also in shooting range that's another thing that we can now do um so i want to definitely try that out but um, 22 million from Lamilla, 24 million from Modernia. Very good from Lamilla though. My Modernia is insanely invested. So, I mean, for her to only be 2 million more than Lamilla, it's not like, that's not saying Lamilla's bad. That's actually saying Lamilla's very, very good, right? So I do want to take that same team into the actual fire element as well um, against those enemies there to see what it's really looking like. Um, I don't think there's another water character I can really pair up with, unfortunately, but i'm gonna run this same team right here we're not gonna have blanc and noir because um oh not this actually we're not gonna have blanc and noir though because we're actually going to be running um what's her name mast right which is good like mast is a crit buffer and because um ludmilla has um you know the crit rate buff when we enter a full burst it's actually gonna come into play here so this is gonna be a very very nice team um to run against the fire boss of course Lamilla is probably gonna hit harder than Modernia here because she is type advantage. Um, so there's no again water characters like good water characters to really like compare her damage to because she just outshines everybody. Um, in terms of the water characters, but it doesn't really change the fact, right? It's gonna be very good. I should probably do the three minute one so we can actually get a couple of burst rotations off. But with um Mary, we're gonna get three burst rotations off for sure. So it's, uh, definitely good. But look at her numbers, right? These numbers are a bit insane. Forty two thousand per hit on a crit is quite crazy right and then even just fifteen thousand per like core hit crit is quite crazy right um as you guys look at modernia modernia is hitting what i guess i don't know if that's Modernia. i don't think that's modernia's damage i'm pretty sure that's coming from uh yeah that's coming from the that's not coming from uh oh is it it is actually i think yeah so she's hitting as hard what's the numbers looking like right now yeah so okay okay let's see so I think this is our third burst rotation, which means we should be fully stacked now with Ludmilla, right? So Ludmilla should have one, two, and three. Yeah, we have all three now. So she hasn't seen, you know, the the water buff, right? Which is very, very good. Let's take a look at what it's really looking like though. Um, okay. So the reload, 
I just can't wait to get, okay, 72 million. Yeah, the fact that, like, again, this is her type advantage, and she is getting buffed by Mary and stuff like that. Mind you, Mary also does increase water, quote, allies' attacks as well, so um, there is that, but there's no question, like, Blood Miller is probably um the hardest hitting character in the game, right? A machine gun doing what she does is quite crazy. Like, every 60 bullets, they're doing what she does. Like, you guys could kind of see she's spamming it. It's damn near as fast as Summer needs, and you don't need investment for that, right? You don't need privity on the team. Like, if you really think about it, you don't need privity on the team for, to, uh, to be able to do that. All you need to do is build the character up, and she's doing what a niece needs privity to do without the investment and uh, like all that extra stuff, right? But who hit harder? Yeah, 101 million. Um, again, it was type advantage, so Modernia is still very close. Um, if you go to somewhere that's not type advantage, Modernia is probably gonna hit more, um, obviously. But I do think this is a very, very good character, right? I do think this is a very, very good character. I can show you guys the gear, right? Level zero, only level five, level one, zero, zero, and then look at my Modernia. Four level 10, five, six, five, nine, Right, there's a massive difference in these two characters, right? Um, especially in their builds, right? Look at the power. 61,000 attack, 57,000 attack, right? There's a massive, massive difference in these two characters' performance. But I do want to run the same comp again, just with the bunny girls this time. Um, and then also probably the school girls, because we can actually do that this time. But the only thing is we're going to be using Modernia's burst skill. Um, and that's not what I want to do, but it's fine. Um, you guys are only seeing her in this scene because again the video is catered to her and Summer Mary And the whole point of Mary being here is to actually buff up Blood Miller So please don't go in the comments and say you keep showing her without uh, fighting other codes I've already shown her fighting other codes But this video specifically is to show the strong element buff that Mary has been literally missing out on this entire time Since Summer Mary has dropped Literally nobody was taking any advantage of the strong element that she provides for the water code allies So now that Lun Miller is in the game I'm glad that you know Lun Miller is the character who can uh, actually do it and I always used Mary right Mary is a character that I always used already for her healing But now she's gonna have much more use because uh, Lun Miller is definitely gonna be my main like probably my first pick for my main DPS now um, Her and Red Hood of course Modernia is going to be the third option now. It's really crazy how we've evolved, right? Um, they've dropped so many good characters this year in 2023 that characters that were like arguably, not even arguably, like just defined as the best unit in the game are like now being replaced by the newer characters, right? But I guess that's how power creep works, obviously. Right, like Scarlet. A lot of people don't even consider Scarlet... Scarlet's probably top five still, definitely top five still, but she's not top three, I don't think. I don't think Scarlet is top three anymore right not even close i don't think so because it's a bit it's quite crazy what this character is doing in a realistic sense right i don't have scarlet so i don't know but a lot of you guys did say that scarlet um or ludmilla hits harder than scarlet already so i'm taking you guys' word what's the damage looking like yeah still higher right um and then i'm assuming obviously with the school girls it's going to be the same thing but yeah this is a very very good um very very good kit here so let's do it one more time right um i'm probably i don't want you guys seeing it uh okay let me just run this oh stop and then up <laughs> and now yeah we're gonna run it quickly um i'll probably just show you guys the first two burst rotations um stats and then i'll cut it to the very end and then we'll wrap up the video there you guys don't need to see the same thing with just with different characters um all right realistically but ludmilla is hitting very hard right i do think you want you can use her with the mary and especially with the ludmilla um we're not ludmilla naga and tia buff very very good character right so you can see 50 million now 60 million right if we go to ludmilla right the only thing is when you enter a full burst she is like reloading a lot that's the one thing i don't like running her with the school girls right because unless you have like the 1000 bullets like my modernia has let me go to my modernia my modernia has over a thousand bullets until my ludmilla gets that she's not really going to be used with the school girls because she's always reloading in a full burst and i don't really like that about the character she's always reloading in a full burst when i use the school girls and it's only because she doesn't have the um enough ammo unless i save it right i can save it but then it's like i don't want to do that as well because then i'm missing out on damage so you just need to have high ammo for this character to really perform but yeah you can see she's reloading in majority of the full burst but it's not bad because she has fast reload speed um right you can see she's kind of being underperformed though by uh not underperformed but she's doing less than modernia for the simple fact that she's losing a lot of damage every time we enter a full burst like take a look here right 
Um, she's reloading. She's about to start reloading, right? Um, okay, actually, it's taking... Oh, no, right, I forgot. She keeps... I'm like, why does it keep going up? But, yeah, after every 60 bullet, she actually gives herself the ammunition as well. So, when I get this character 10, 10, 10, she's really going to be broken. When you really get Ludmilla to 10, 10, 10, she's going to be crazy. And that was my highest, uh, crazy, right? But 130 million Ludmilla, 147 million Modernia. Um, mind you, Modernia is more invested. The only buff that Ludmilla is getting over Modernia is what Mary's providing. But it doesn't change the fact that she's still under, like, invested compared to my Modernia. So, I do think Ludmilla is probably the hardest character in the game. Hardest hitting character in the game. But you guys let me know what you think. Definitely run this combo too, right? That's a good healer. And especially if you are running her with uh, Bunny Girls, that's two healers on the team now. And a buffer towards your Ludmilla, which is more than enough. So, um, I would definitely recommend to use the Bay Goddess Mary with the Bunny Girls and Ludmilla. And whoever your other DPS is, probably Modernia or Red Hood. Um, and that's a really good comp right there. So, let me know what you guys think. It's your boy Zioxus. I'm out. Peace.